beauty is called five minute makeup uh, which is where i create these really quick looks for you which don't require a lot of time or a lot of product uh, so today i thought i'd do a look for you which is the look that i wear whenever i'm traveling whether i'm traveling for work or if it's like a short staycation or a vacation uh, that is my sort of go-to look i'm also going to talk about the makeup products which have made a place in my travel kit or my travel makeup pouch uh, and why i like these products and the multiple ways in which i like to use these products so if you want to see your look which you can wear on your next travel then please keep watching now i have already moisturized my face and i'm going to use this charlotte tilbury magic cream this is literally a travel size because i got this as a sample uh, the last time i was in singapore it is really uh, hydrating and it gives that radiance and it's like a perfect um you know base for your makeup so i like to use this uh in the center of my face it's super hydrating and it smells amazing i'm moving on to foundations i really like the dior backstage face and body foundation if you ask me why then firstly look at the packaging it's uh, not a glass bottle so really comfortable to carry it's a tiny bottle uh as far as the coverage is concerned it's good coverage with a really lightweight formula which is what i really like it's like it's literally like water it's very comparable to mac face and body but i feel that it has better coverage than mac face and body the best thing is that it lasts really long because it's a face and body foundation and this is like the thing about face and body foundations that they sort of stick to your skin that's why they're appropriate for your body as well if you want to put it on your body they don't move even in humid conditions it doesn't move it's good coverage medium to full coverage very lightweight and does not look cakey it's very very natural and keeps your skin radiant yet it's going to last you really long time it now before using i like to give it a good shake and then because it's really thin i like to just directly put it on my face and i like to blend it with a beauty blender because i have experienced that this is the best way to sort of blend this foundation i move straight to my brows now these are the three products and they're all from benefits which have sort of made a permanent place in my travel kit or even my everyday go to makeup kit this is the brow pencil this is the ka brow gel and this is the sort of brow mascara Moving on to concealer, uh, I usually like to use the L'Oreal True Match. Uh, I'm in the color 6D, which is Golden Honey. Now, why this concealer? Because uh, the wand is really comfortable. Uh, I don't really have to spend a lot of time blending it. See, this this just blends in no time. Now time to powder my face. I have been using this Laura Mercier powder foundation. Now I know that it's not available in India. I know it sucks, but I thought I have to be honest with you guys. This is the powder that I have been using for the past couple of months. And because it's a powder foundation, you can also use it as uh you know as is on your face and it's going to give you enough coverage. I and after that i like to bronze my face i've been using the bobby brown golden light bronzer with this i literally just put it on my cheekbone and a little bit on my cheek a little bit on my nose and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a fluffy brush like this and just literally put the same bronzer all over my eyes I can be precise with this brush on the nose if I want to do a little contouring. I also put this under my eyes. Just literally what I use on my face like I said I skip blush but if at all I have to wear blush I either use Gingerly or Melba or or any sort of like a nude pink. Uh I'm just going to put Gingerly right now. I'm actually using it with the same brush that I did my uh, bronzing with so that uh, it doesn't really look like a 
you know, blush. Now coming back to the eyes, I have been using this uh, eyeshadow palette from MAC. It's the Kabuki Doll palette. Now as you can see, it has uh, some really nice matte brown shades and of course there's some nice glittery eyeshadows. What I like to do is, I like to take a fluffy brush, uh, yet slightly more tapered than the last one I used. And then I literally just go this, I put it in both these brown eyeshadows, take off the excess. And then I give a little bit of definition on my crease. Just like a slight lift, that's it, nothing else. Same on the other eye. Just like a nice wash of color under the eye. And that's it. And the last step for the eyes is not really the last, the last is mascara. The second last step is creating a tiny wing on both my, on, uh, you know, on the upper lashes. So this is the eyeliner done. Now I'm going to finish off the eyes with some mascara. I'm going to use the highlighter now. I'm using the Benefit What's Up highlighter. This is a really old one, but I really like this again because uh, it's easier to carry. It's in a stick form. Although it's a cream product, it dries down uh, into a powdery sort of finish. Moving on to the lips now, the lip pencil that I've been using for months and the one that I love using is this uh, pencil from Urban Decay. It's called 1993. It's a, it's a really cool chocolate brown kind of nude color. Uh, the closest, now again, Urban Decay is not available in India. So I found you guys a dupe which is very similar to this color. This is uh, Nykaa's Chocolate Boy, as you can see, it's pretty similar to this color. So I actually sometimes even use this one as well. It's Chocolate Boy from Nykaa, but right now I'm using this 1993. And the lipstick that I'm going to use is this L'Oreal Rouge Signature Lipstick in the color I Explore. Uh, now this lipstick has literally become my go-to lipstick ever since... I tried it. I love the fact that it's weightless. I love the fact that it's uh, so comfortable. And of course, it because it's a liquid lipstick, it you know stays on forever. I have not literally come across a formula which is this smooth and which literally lasts you so long without you know needing a retouch or without leaving your lips chapped. I love the wand of this lipstick. Uh, it's uh, very comfortable and you can also be precise with it uh, with the pointy sides so so this is it guys this is my current go-to makeup look or the makeup look that I wear whenever I'm traveling this literally doesn't take me more than five to seven minutes to do this I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and if you did then please like it let you guys have a great day or evening wherever you are and I'm going to see you super soon bye